Hi guys, it's Molly and today I'll be doing my December wrap up. Um, I read a total of 5 books this month which is a big achievement compared to the last 2 months where I only read 2 books so yeah, I had a lot of free time this month and I went traveling so you know it's perfect time to read books when you're bored there. So yeah, let me just show you guys the books that I read this month. The first book that I read is of course 10,000 Skies Above You. I've been waiting to read this book since forever and I loved it. I made a review for this book and also the first book. I think it's my previous video. Go check it out if you want to. But I loved it. I rated it 4.7 out of 5. Um, it makes it to my top 10 of the year. I really love the whole concept of dimension traveling. It's I'm very new to that whole concept. So reading about it in this book and the first book is a really nice start and I really I'm just really mind blown with the whole thing and it was really well written with all the plot and everything the romance was really nice so I highly recommend this series I think I've been raving about it for a while I just need people to read it more but like don't put your expectations too high because I tend to exaggerate but yeah go read it Next, I read Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. Um, This is a very interesting book because it's written by two authors. So um, alternating chapters are written by each of the authors. So it's really interesting to see how they sort of um, continued on with the story. But the funny thing is, I, as I was reading it at first, I didn't realize that it was written by two authors. Each perspective was written by a different author. It seemed like it was the same author. So the writing style was sort of consistent, which is pretty cool. It's a really lovely book about a girl who sort of wants to find her true love. She writes a set of dares in a notebook and leaves it in a bookstore for you know someone to pick up and suddenly one day this boy does come in the bookstore and pick it up and follows the dares and they basically sort of exchange dares and letters to each other through the book and um, it's kind of about expectations about somebody when you have a sort of idea of them in your head and whether they'll be like that when you actually meet them it's a really lovely fluffy book perfect for the winter season I guess especially in December because it's kind of set in, during Christmas which is nice and yeah I rated it 4.2 I think and it's a really nice contemporary read if you want something nice and fluffy. The third book I read is actually an ebook and it is um, Confessed by Colleen Hoover. Um, I liked it, I didn't love it, I rated it 3.8 out of 5. It was my first Colleen Hoover book and I think it's like one of my first new adult books as well. I, I'm kind of okay with it I guess. I kind of like the issues that they talked about but maybe it's because I, I was reading in the car and I was sort of like reading it really fast on my phone and I couldn't really grasp everything and it just felt really a bit depressing at the end. I don't know why, it's not even a depressing ending. And then I finished Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix for the My Potterheads Readathon and I loved it. I think this was like the perfect time for me to really appreciate the book because the previous time that I read it, I think I was a little young to really understand everything and appreciate everything because it's pretty long. It's like, it's like how many pages is it? It's like 800 plus pages. It's really long. And um, I, I like that this is when we start to discover more about love and and crushes and it's really really special because this is when we have a more serious death that really impacts the characters and and that in itself impacts uh, the reader and I noticed I realized that I actually relate a lot to Harry um, I read somewhere that we have the same personality type which is pretty cool and I just I really get him and I really understand when he feels the pain and everything and I don't know I just connect to Harry quite well in this book even though he's quite angsty and everything but I also love the movie I love the fifth movie so much I didn't realize it was that good until I rewatched it after rereading it so yeah go watch the movie as well if um, you've read it I love the movie for the movie and the book for the book and just Jake Rowling is just the queen and the final book that I read is The Terrible Thing That Happened to Barnaby Brockett. This is a children's book written by John Boyne and I actually started it last month but um, I never got around to finishing it because I was really busy. But it's a really nice book that I rated 4.0 out of 5 I think. This book is about a boy who floats. He was born with the ability to float and 
it's actually a bad thing because he comes from um, a family who only likes things to be normal and he's like the opposite of normal so it's something um, something terrible happens to him and this is when he starts to explore the world and and finds out about different people and things like that and it's just really nice and the morals that you learn from this book are just really deep and I just can't believe that children read this so it's perfect for all ages because of that and I highly recommend it if you want something kind of light but at the same time get something from it it's really really nice so yeah those are the books that I read this month and if you have read any and you want to discuss about it comment in the comment section below without giving any spoilers but make sure you put the disclaimer thing if you do want to give spoilers but yeah i hope you guys had a wonderful reading month as well i'll be posting my top favorites of 2015 very soon so yeah wait for that i'll see you guys again next time bye